What's up, Cinephiles? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we'll be talking about the Netflix film, The Dig, directed by Simon Stone. This is based on the true story of the 1939 excavation of the Sutton Hood. This is the digging site near Suffolk, England, and it stars Carrie Mulligan as Miss Edith Prithy. She is the landowner of the said rural estate, and she hires this local archaeologist named Basil Brown, played by Ralph Fiennes. And as they went along with this dig, more people will be drawn to discover what's inside this burial mounds. Before I begin with this review, why don't you guys show your support to the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to us for weekly reviews of movies and TV shows. Now I bring back to the channel my cinephile friend Carlos Laron. Hi. Hi Kevin, how are you? Sorry but I can't help it. Do you dig this movie? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well that's no pun intended there. First, I found this movie to be gorgeously and delicately shot. Very tasteful in its storytelling and actually, if there's a word for it, I would say it's very British. Meaning lots of shots with the landscapes and not a lot of dialogue but there's so much being felt and said in the scenes. It had all the right elements of a proper period piece set in mm -hmm. 1939 near World War II. I would say that it's very niche because on the surface it might not be interesting at all to a regular moviegoer because the core of this film is about a real-life excavation slash archaeological dig. So it's very specific, right? But yeah. Uh, to me, that's just one slice of the cake because as the movie goes on, it offered more other themes uh, like having passion for something bigger than yourself and building legacies for the future generations, to name a few. In that case, I dig it very much. <laughs> Same for me because I love watching British shows. I've been watching shows like Downton Abbey mm -hmm. and this one is very much on the same vein. People are very amicable. The servants are all chummy chummy with their masters. I guess this is some sort of uh, comfort food, British comfort food, you know. And I know uh, not a lot of people will be drawn to this subject matter because as if you said, an archaeological drama and we don't really get much. Mm -hmm. And I'm just surprised that they managed to draw a lot of drama and story out of this historical event which is basically moving south from one place to another. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this movie goes into a philosophical route. It's not the physical digging mm -hmm. only itself. It's more of the psychological dig that happens with these characters. And I've said earlier, more characters will be drawn here. But before I go with the other characters, I think let's just talk about first our main characters. So we have here Carrie Mulligan and Ralph Fiennes. I think this is an incredible pairing. Yeah. They have a peculiar relationship. In many ways, both characters are loners. Mm -hmm. Carrie Mulligan here as Miss Edith Prithy, she's a widow and she's having this medical condition. She knows that she can't be forever there for her son. I also love the character played by Ralph Fiennes as Basil Brown, the unsung hero. The main point of this movie is to give credit to where credit is true. So this movie is very much justified for me and I love his character because he is humble but at the same time he's not a pushover because people don't really give much credit to the actual excavator. They just give credit to the museum archaeologist and in here some people tend to look down at him just because he didn't come from an Oxford school. He's more of a self-taught person and I just love that both of these characters through this journey they they both help each other in many ways so yes. yeah um true i agree with all that you said i'd be lying if i tell you that i watched this for any other reason than carrie mulligan you know she had been getting a lot of praise in the movie promising young woman which i'm still having flashbacks from to be honest i just knew that i had to watch another performance from her because as she proves in this movie yet again she's very understated her craft in acting is not like anyone else's. She is in a league of her own. She's just really mesmerizing to look at on screen. Of course, she carried this film together with Ralph Fiennes, who is always transforming in any role he's given. Their chemistry is definitely strong. It's a peculiar type of relationship. More like a mentor-mentee, not romantic. But I almost wish it was romantic 
to get some sort of <laughs> scandal there, but everything that you said worked for them in the way that they portrayed the rules. I think it was hinted on the first act of the movie that there's some sort of a thwarted romance, and I almost wish that the movie explored more of their relationship because these two people won't really go in a relationship because there's a certain level of mutual respect between them. I have to add that the son here of Edith Pretty, Robert Pretty played by Archie Barnes, He's looking for a father figure and he found that in the character of Basil Brown. So I think that's a wonderful exploration. And then speaking of romance, as we move along, more characters will be drawn into this mess. There's another romantic storyline here, headlined by Lily James as Peggy. She is in a sexless relationship, we can definitely assume, with her husband. There's some flirtation going on with the uh, brother of Edith, played by Johnny Flynn as Rory. They still manage to tie this loose subplots because there's so much profound things to be said in this movie like Rory makes a statement something about photography how it corrects the history but you know overall I felt like that's a subplot that the film could have easily shed off and focus more on the actual dig and the struggles of whose ownership will it be of who will be credited for sure and the romance that you mentioned happened in the second half of the film the distraction that the director wanted to use for the viewers to really get in Engage with the film. It was a little bit dry and straightforward on the first half. It was lacking some action. The setting of this is 1939 and they're on the brink of World War II. So you would yeah. expect that something like this would be tense. It would have that different feel than the one presented in the film. It's pretty compelling in the sense that the characters and their relationship dynamics are very solid. Someone worth mentioning is the character of Ken Stott, the yeah. one who played Charles Phillips. He is the epitome of really snobby and bossy man. I really enjoyed his mm -hmm. acting. What I would add is, you know, these movies, they act as a time machine. They take us back to a different time, events that we've never been exposed to or had no prior idea about. So yes, it's a history lesson, if you will. Perhaps it was the most epic archaeological discovery on English land. People are now aware of this. I was ready to say in the first half that it was quite slow and dragging, but it proved me wrong by the end and I honestly didn't mind it. I also felt that on the first half like you need to power through those scenes. You mentioned that the movie is set in World War One or two. I think it doesn't really matter but yeah. I I'm not even sure if it's before the war or during the war. Anyway there's a sense of irony here because the country is at war and here they are preserving things from the past. One thing that the subplots help is as they did along it produces more discussions like some of the characters here ask as they dig something new like what happened to these people and in a way as they ask this question this rhetoric it's also like they're asking questions about their future so yeah. I think that's a wonderful food for thought I have to add that there's a sublime sense of mortality when you see this burial site it doesn't matter if you were a rich person or a poor person you all end up in the dirt yeah. and that's what's going to happen to them above the sky you can see the fighters risking their lives doing things Restaurants, I believe so that's another sense of impending death and then I just have to add that the kid here played by Archie Barnes that kid really grew on me while yeah. watching because towards the end there's something profound that he really said it's some sort of a metaphor that he's coming into terms of the impending death of a loved one so I think that was wonderful and another food for thought Basil Brown mentioned that from the first human hand breeds, we are all part of something continuous so you don't have to look at this mortality from a gloomy aspect. You're all part of something that don't really die. So I think that was wonderful. Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Like I felt that wave of sadness in me because there were a few scenes where Edith and Basil were talking about the past and the future. So basically life and death. Something inevitable for all of us. We don't live on, says Edith, because the circumstances that she was given, thinking 
about her son Robert, what the future holds for him without her. Then Basil mentions that we are part of a continuous journey. The connections and the legacies we leave behind are important. The discovery of something in the past holds something really important in the future for all of us. So yeah, I like my movies like that, not just for entertainment value. It makes me contemplate about the things that matter in life. To me, that was the highlight of the film, the message that it shares with everyone. To wrap things up, I just want to say that I also love the cinematography of this movie. The movie presented this hazy afternoons, this misty fields. The weather very much yeah. played a part in the struggle of these people. This movie is very modest and I think it kind of works for and against yeah. that movie. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. I just wish that they played more on the drama behind the excavation of the Sutton Who. I'm pretty sold by this and one thing that I really liked as well was the cinematography and uh, the wardrobe, yeah. the costumes. They really did the research there and Carrie Mulligan's character was wearing all the amazing dresses and her pants are always, you know, stylish. For a rich woman, she is very stylish. And as well as the excavator, Basil Brown, wore very mm. dapper clothing. I took notice of that. With all things considered, to me, this is a 3.5 out of 5. There were things that worked and things that didn't work. I would recommend this to anyone I know. Just power through it and it's very much worth it by the end. Yeah. So, I'm really yeah. excited to see Kari Mulligan in Promising Young Woman, which I have yet to see. Because in the you trailer, she's very different from here and that really speaks a lot to her range as an actress. I guess that's it for our review for the Netflix film The Dig, directed by Simon Stone. Let us know what you think in the comment sections down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit that like button and subscribe to us for weekly content. Carlos, thank you once again for doing this with me. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, see you on the next one.